Welcome everybody to the Cheryl Technology Channel. This is your host, Chris. That's me. Uh, thank y'all for watching, like, comment, subscribe, and let's get into this video. So this is my Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. This is my Christmas special video. And in this one, we're going to be examining, yes, y'all know, what does Christmas mean to you? So let's get into it. The introduction is this. What Christmas men means to you depends on your point of view, right? I have a biblical worldview, so I see it a little bit differently than maybe some of you do. That doesn't mean that I'm right. That doesn't mean that you're wrong. That doesn't mean that you're right either. We just, we see things differently, right? We see things differently from each other. So do you have a biblical based view of Christmas or do you have some other view of what Christmas means or is about? Are you just indifferent to Christmas? Because I know some people who don't even like Christmas. And the way you react to this depends on you, right? So the first point I want to make is this. I have a biblical view of Christmas. So this is what a biblical view of Christmas is. That God sent his son, Jesus Christ, in human form. This is the Christmas statement, though. But the statement's hereafter are the end result of his work when he came as a child right the death his birth like of the rest of us is just the beginning of what he's going to become later so what does he become okay he lived the life that we couldn't live he died the death that we deserve to die and he rose from the grave in victory over death that's a christian's a biblical view of Christmas. That's what it's about for me. I see it a little bit differently, but that's how I see it. Now, let's say point two, your view is not based in biblical values. Then what? Right? Some people do not see Christmas the same way that we do. If you're a Christian, you see it differently than some people. It's that simple. You do. Some people believe the, pre the season is about presence. Others believe it's about doing good, right? Different kinds of people believe different things about Christmas. And what you believe is determined by how you view it, right? So, for instance, a biblical-based view, we view it as Christ coming to earth to die. That's, what, that's the way we view it. But other people view it as Christmas trees or, or this or that. I mean, there's a lot of different views. Now, I'm not going to say that that one is right or wrong. So who is right? Who is right? I don't believe there is a right. I mean, for me, the biblical view is the right view. But what if you don't see it the same way I do? I can't sit here and beat you over the head. Believe, believe, because you're not going to. My job is to give you the truth that I, as I see it, and let you decide. That's my, my job. So, I don't believe that being right is the right view. I believe being empathetic to other people and someone's point of view is the right view. Because if you do that, okay, imagine you're a Christian, you go over to somebody's house and, and they say, well, we don't believe in Christ or Christmas. And you say, well, you're going to hell. This is not right. Well, you know what that's going to do? Their heart's going to immediately close and they're going to kick you out of their house. Because they don't want to hear nothing you got to say. The more you are to people, the more they open up to you. That's a fact. Now, for instance, instead of saying something like, well, you're going to hell or you don't believe the way I do, why don't you say, come to my house and let's have dinner. Let's just sit down at the table and let's just have dinner. Why can't we do that? That is the right way to do it, I believe. In my opinion, that is what I believe. Disclaimer, this is my opinion. Now, we could finally open up communication lines because, I, okay, you Christians, don't hate me for this. I watched a pen and teller video, right? It's a pen video, and he was talking about Christmas from an atheistic perspective. You cannot ignore the atheistic perspective. To do that is ignorance. You need to know how they feel, the way they view Christ, the way they view us, the way they view Christians. It's important to know these things. 
So in this video, he started to talk about why do y'all got to leave us out of Christmas? Like just because we're not Christians doesn't mean we don't want to celebrate Christmas too. And that's my point. That is my point, y'all. That is my point. If we are going to ever become the men and women that God has called us to be, we cannot judge people based on their differing opinion from ours. Right? Okay. For instance, I have a friend right now. It's a really good friend of mine. He, uh, he, he just lost his mama not too long ago, just like I lost my dad a couple weeks ago. And, uh, he, um, he is very sad. He's agnostic though, but I took him in and I told him, I gave him my number and I said, if you need a place to come for Christmas, you can come to my house. After, after I lost my dad, man, my whole thought process changed. The way I view people, the way I view life changed completely. I mean, more than I ever thought it would. Now, you say that you're a Christian, but where is the love? Without, I was living in horrible, horrible, bad things, man. Like horrible, depre not depression, but sadness. Because my dad just died. And I, I didn't want him to die. I didn't think he was going to, but he did. So what are you going to do with this video? Are you going to keep doing the same thing you've been doing for years that still didn't work? Or are you going to change your life and look at somebody's perspective and say, I empathize with you because I could understand where you're coming from. Listen, we are all human. Every one of us is a human. Every single one of us is a human living on this planet Earth. We are no higher than anybody else. Christ is the one that's higher than us. And that's it. There is no higher. You, you <laughs> don't think for a second that you're better than anybody else. Because God will show you that you are not. Now, are you going to merely ignore the words that I've said in this video? Or are you going to act and maybe open up the door to someone seeing Christ in you? What are you going to do? That's the question. Okay, y'all, that's all I got for you today. This is Chris from Cheryl Technology wishing you a very, very, very Merry Christmas. Have fun with each other. Have a good time. And may the Lord absolutely bless each and every step you take. And may he bless the life that you have. Thank y'all. I love you. And we'll talk to you in the next video. That's it for now. Bye, y'all.